One, what does that even mean? Where's the exit to this place? Right here. Duh. Ephrata AM. Good morning, Good morning, Ephrata. My name's Richard. And my name is Ethan. Today is Tuesday, April 30th, 2024. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Attention class of 2027, this is the last week to pick up a petition in Mr. Shortis's room 109 for a sophomore class officer position. All petitions must be signed and returned to Mr. Shortis by Friday, May 9th at 3 p.m. Attention sophomores, we have an opportunity for students from the class of 2026 for the next school year to participate in a program called Discovering Pass with Lancaster Chamber. Their mission is to inspire, guide, and empower high school juniors as they consider their next steps. The program is designed for students who may not have a full idea of what they would like to study after high school. And if you're looking for an opportunity to connect with our community, visit a number of places around Lancaster County and earn credit towards the Life Ready Graduate Certificate, fill out the form on Schoology or let Mrs. Calhoun know. Space is limited as only 12 students can participate and I need to know who's interested by May 10th, 2024. It's time for prom court nominations. Voting is open for both juniors and seniors, but only seniors can be nominated. Choose your top six senior girls and top six senior boys to be on the prom king and queen ballot. The nomination form in Schoology will be open from Monday, April 29th to Friday, May 3rd. Summer school information is available now. If needed, be sure to check this out on the EHS counseling website and on your Schoology class of group. If you failed a class and you need to retake it, this summer is the perfect time to do so. If you have any questions, schedule an appointment with your counselor using the QR codes printed in each classroom. Now over to Mud with the news. with people around the world as this day promotes jazz's roots and intercultural influence every April 30th. All that jazz! Many consider it America's classical music. After all, jazz began in New Orleans over 100 years ago. Legendary jazz pianist and composer Herbie Hancock, along with the UN, helped create International Jazz Day in 2011. Read on for a musical look at a distinctly American art form. Now back to the main desk. Have any books that you no longer want? Are they damage free? Donate them to the high school library. We are gathering gently used books from today until May 6th. We will not accept any torn or damaged books. All books donated will be used for a summer grabs event at the end of the school year where you can browse and take them as many books as you would like for free and to keep. Now over to lunch and sports with Caden. White one's better. No, the gray one's better. No, the black one's better. No, the yellow one's better. No. Purple is better! No! Pink one's better! I would never do that to you guys. I like playing golf sometimes, but I'm responsible with my cameras too. So here we go. We got a lunch to do. We got pasta ball with chicken alfredo or chicken parm with a whole grain roll breadstick. We got that barbecue chicken with cheese sandwich. We got the Papa John's pizza as usual on Tuesdays. Say hi, Johnny. <laughs> We got the crispy chicken wrap. We got the fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin. We got the cran apple chicken salad, roasted cauliflower. We got grape tomatoes and dip. We got assorted fresh fruit, 100% juice or slushy, and milk from the milk machine. Have a great day, Ephrata.
Yesterday, Zach Keeper got second place after losing in the finals in tennis. Baseball won 13 to three at CV, and softball won 16 to five versus CV. Yesterday, the boys and girls track and field teams traveled to Mannheim Central for the penultimate second to last dual meet of the season. Despite very hot conditions, the Mountaineer squads were both able to bring home victories. And the final scores were boys, effort of 115 over Mannheim Central 35. Girls, effort of 84 over Mannheim Central 66. Event winners for the boys were the 4x800 meter relay team for of Kyle Reidenbaugh, Brendan Bond, Marlon Perez, and Quincy Meyer. Andrew Colazzo Colon in the 110 and 300 meter hurdles. The 4x100 meter relay team of Liam Miller, Ryder Newland, Aiden Kern, and Braden Mazaki. Armani Acevedo in the 400 meter dash. Parker Luce in the 800 meter run. Luke Bowers in the 3200 meter run. The 4x400 meter relay of Samson Gibson, Armani Acevedo, Parker Luce, and Tobias Barrett. Ethan Brinzer in the high jump. Aaron Young in the long jump and pull. <laughs> Tobias Barrett in the triple jump. Brendan Freimoyer in the shot put. Quinton Pouts in the discus. Sam McCracken in the javelin. Event winners for the girls were Lydia Shute in the 100 meter hurdles and high jump. <coughs> Gianna Long in the 100, 200, and 400 meter dash. Ella Pouts in the 1600 meter run. The 4x100 meter relay team of Hannah Schwartz, Ellen Sekiwa Yaboa, Sabrina Pinapapa, and Jayla Harris. Courtney Smith in the long jump, high jump, and javelin. Sophia Rivera in the shot put and discus. Next Monday, the track and field teams will travel to Cacalico for a night meet under the lights at Eagle Stadium. Field events will start at 5 o'clock and track events will start at 5.30. The boys look to finish the season with 6-1 to one, and the girls with a win will win the Section 2 title outright with a perfect 7-0 record. Today, boys lacrosse is home versus E-Town, girls lacrosse is at E-Town, volleyball is at Mannheim Central, and softball is at McCaskey. Tomorrow, baseball is home versus Lebanon, softball is at Lebanon, and unified track is at Mannheim Central for a meet with Central and Mannheim Township. Now back to the main desk. It's act period five today. Have a Have twisted, a twisted Tuesday. Tuesday effort.